Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Morrowind with myself, Waze, and our friends Asiri. So we are here in Aldrun in Arabar Manor and we have to find... What do we have to find? We have to find a Redoran Master Helm. We just know it's probably in a bedroom somewhere. Uh, that's as much information as we have. Let's just have a quick check in the, uh, the actual journal itself to see is there anything else mentioned. No, nothing at all. Anything in the quests? And where are we? Thieves Guild. Red Room Master Helm. No, all we know is it's in a bedroom here somewhere. So this is going to be interesting. So we're just going to take a wander around. That's where we came in. So that's the, to the entrance. Private quarters. Okay. This could be. Could be it. Just take it calm, Zasiri. You're just wandering around. You're I've just... got better things to do, so if you don't mind, let's move this along. No problem, just looking for my friend. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Locked. I'm not going to be able to pick that with her here. That's locked as well. Okay, take it calm, Zasiri. Is there anything down here? No. Okay. Is it going to be possible to unlock those? Is it even in there? Hmm. Right. Let's see if we go down here. Will that move her? Or sh shove? Come on. If I talk to her here... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Look, it's not gonna be. Let's have a look around elsewhere. Let's see, just in case. No, I can't remember where we came in. Guard quarters. <laughs> That's uh, <clears throat> not really where we want to be going. Manor bedrooms. Okay. There's a guard. Okay, it's not locked anyway. This is not looking too easy. Lock chest. That chest isn't locked. Look away. Is she looking the other way? Okay. Invocation of Azura, Lives of the Saints, books. Locked and trapped. Mm-hmm. And she's looking right at us. Hi, I'm looking for my friend, uh, okay, Revere. Lander, but make it quick. <clears throat> Have you seen him anywhere? No? Let's try, just try a bit of persuasion. See how we get on. Okay, worked. Just uh, a bit of, bit of buttering up. Okay, well done, Zasiri. Keep them, keep them sweet. Keep them sweet. What's this uh, other room looking like? Oh God. What is that up there? Bone mold bracer. <laughs> okay. We found it. The question is... Can we get it? Not when he's looking that way, we can't. All right, this is definitely going to need a, <laughs> a quick save. <laughs> oh, man, this is a... All right, he needs to be... She's turned around, which is something, so don't grab her attention. We just need him to turn around and then we need to try it quickly. Let's try We're a bit low on charge on this. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Chameleon's going to help. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is get it and get out, Ciceri. So if we have to run 
we can do that. And we can go invisible when we run. We just need to get it in the first place. And hopefully someone at the rat in the pot will be able to clear our bounty. We have the cash for it if we need to clear a bounty. Okay. He's looking the other way. Let's hope us. Turn around. No. Let's hope our sneak training has helped. Quick, 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 quick. We got it. <laughs> we, oh, I actually don't believe that that worked. I actually don't believe that that worked. That was... Come on. That went a lot smoother than I expected. A lot smoother. Yeah, this is the way we came in, isn't it? Man, I thought we were going to have to look through all of those rooms. It's locked. Locked. Okay. I'm glad we didn't have to try and unlock all these doors. Ah, that's the entrance. Well done, Zasiri. Now, just check that we actually have it. Red Run Master Helm. It's worth 1500 Nope. We have a job to do for the Thieves Guild, Zasiri. Right. Let's head back to the rat in the pot. How do we get down here? Down this way. Wow, 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 wow. That actually... Investing in the sneak training has paid off. We should go and get some more. What is our sneak? <clears throat> Excuse me. My sneak uh, and a bit of progression. Security, oh, that's a good bit of progression as well. Marksman, 43, sneak 43. I've got no nothing major on the skills. My agility is like extremely high. I think that's with the, the, the character build. My luck's 51, which is always good to have a bit more on that way. Strength's only 42. Intelligence 46. Willpower 37. Fairly average. Speed 53. Not particularly fast. That would be nicer, to be honest, in Morrowind. And personality is 63. So that's, uh, again, just fitting into the, the character build and, and the skills I'm using. Okay, we're getting there, Zasiri. What time is it? 8 p.m. Now, is there anywhere to sleep in the rat in the pot? If I remember rightly, I don't think there is. So let's go and hand this in. Nice clear night. Let's go and hand this in and uh, see if we get any advancement, which would be nice. This is our aim. Rise through the ranks in the Thieves' Guild and the Morag Tong. Then House Halali and Orvis Dren. Okay. I'm glad we're inside the walls in this place. This reminds us of that horrible traipsing across the, the land. Still gives him shivers. Engar. Hey, old friend. I think so you're going to like me a little more now. I, I have your Redoran Master Helm. Good work. I hope our client appreciates this. Here, take this. Take a little gold for your trouble. A thousand gold. Yep, we're definitely getting more training. The way the series sees it is what else are we going to spend it on? We probably should go back to... Um, I can't remember her name. Is it Ad Adrian in Vivek and buy some more... More gadgets, some more stars and bolts and stuff as well, but also some training. Right, any advancement for that, Ingoth? Perform more jobs. Okay, what jobs do you have for me? Gandosa Arabar is a counsellor's daughter, if you know what I mean. Not really. I'm, I hear she's got a copy of uh, Boethia's pillow book. Okay, the relevance of that. A client of ours wants some dirt on the Arabar family. Apparently, Gandosa Arabar has a copy of this book, which has been banned by the temple. To fetch the book and return it to me, I have to admit, I'm a bit curious myself. Okay, this sounds like a bit of a bit of a dirty book uh, in terms of looking for dirt. But look, where is where is this? Um, who is it? Gandosa Arabar. Well, I was just in Arabar Manor. You could have told me about this beforehand, Angoth. Just you and your information. Yeah. Her BC was a lot slicker with her operation, I have to say. 
Anyway, I will see what I can do. Now, is there anywhere to sleep? That's my next question. Nope, no down there. I don't think I can sleep in here. I don't think they have any beds. Fred. Let's go and check anyway. Liriel, do you have any beds? No, 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 you don't. What training do you do out of interest? Oh, you do security and sneak. Okay. What time is it? It's uh, 9pm. Yeah, we could probably, just before bed, let's try and sneak in a bit of sneak training. Oh, she can teach me nothing more. Security? Nope, she's not high enough level. But from the way her BC was talking about that other guy, it sounds like he might be a master trainer. So it looks like I'm going to have to go to him. Right, where can we sleep? <laughs> we could sleep in the Mages Guild, but no, that just feels a bit wrong to <laughs> Zasiri right now. Okay, now there was... Uh, there were some inns up this way, wasn't there? If I remember rightly. So is the Siri feeling quite good? Let's have a quick look at this. Thieves Guild. We are operative now. Next rank is Bandit. Agility 31, Speed 31. Okay, we have both of those covered. And we need one skill at 50 and two at 15. Out of Marksman, Short Blade. Yeah. All right, one skill at 50. Oh, hang on. Uh, marksman, short blade, light armor, acrobatic, sneak, and security. I don't have a skill at 50. So, Siri, we may have to go and stick our neck out a bit to get some experience or some training. If we spend, if we can get five levels on, I think if we aim at security and try and get that to 50 because it's the closest one, that's what we're going to have to look at doing. Morag Tong. Speed and agility, yeah, we've got those covered. Uh, similar skills. I need one at 40 for the next level. Okay, I'm covered on that one. We're okay for Morag Tong, but Thieves Guild, we have a bit of work to do. Glad to hear it. Now, where am I? Sorry, I was just standing thinking, pondering. Is that a crime? Let's have a look. This looks like it might be an inn. The Old Scar Inn. Up or down? Let's go up. Evening all. Hello. Good day, I'm Baderi Farano, publican of the Old Scar Inn here in Aldrun. We rent beds. Oh, thank you. And I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services or a specific place nearby. I would like a bed for the night. Yes, we have some one available. Ten gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? I would love it. Thank you. Brilliant. Down the stairs, uh, use the first room to your right. And how are we doing on food? We've got plenty of eggs. Yeah, I think, and we've got meat as well. Yeah, I think we're okay. What we will do, do you have... Oh, look, we will have... We will have a couple of wick, 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 wick muffins. Nice to have. Brilliant, thank you. Right. Let's have a look then. Down and first door on the right, she said, wasn't it? Hmm. No doors. It will do. So Siri isn't isn't worried about anything too much. Let's just have a chat with this person standing around, see what, what she's like. What is this about? Hi. Welcome to our rooms, Siri. I'm Fathusa Garethi, Bard. Ah, oh, keep meeting Bards in Aldrun. Aldrun. Are you new here? I don't believe we we've met. No, we haven't. Let's do a little bit of buttering up. <coughs> well done, Zasiri. Your persuasion... Is, oh, is working very, very well. Okay, that gets her on side. Any advice? If you want weapons or arms in Aldrun, or need weapons and armor repaired, look for Dandera Solaro the Smith in Aldrun under Scar. Dandera Solaro serves all comers and has a quality selection. The other three Smiths in Aldrun have faction associations. Erg near the Nord is the Fighters Guild Smith. Yeah, I don't think they'll serve me. Uh, Tuveso Beleth is House Redoran Smith at Redoran Council Hall. Yeah, I after... Mm, I probably probably should leave those alone. And Yambergorn Gro Shulaw is the Legion Smith at Fort Buck Fort Buckmoth. Okay, it seems a bit out of the way. Uh, okay, any secrets? Yeah, we know that. Any rumors? 
Some Ashlanders near Margan have been bragging about how they captured a famous noble. I wonder who it is. Hmm. Me as well, actually. Hmm. Right, anything else? What do you know about Ingoth? Yep, okay, we know that. Right, that'll do. What time is it, Ciceri? It's 9pm. Uh, Let's have an early night and an early start. Right. And what time shall we start? Where are we? What are we doing, actually? Before we go to sleep, let's think. Plan a day. Let's be organised. What are we doing? What are we doing tomorrow? Right, we're after this pillow book. Anything else? So, so far, our plan was to head north, but we've got a bit stuck in Aldrune with the Thieves' Guild quests, but they're all local, so we might as well do them while we're here. And then we need to head west, don't we? So let's do the Thieves' Guild quest. Hopefully that will go well. Turn that in, see what the next quest is. And if it's taken us in a different direction or elsewhere, we will head west and try and find Narmok. If it's local again, then we'll do the quest. Right, so Siri, we can go to sleep now. We have an idea about what our day looks like tomorrow. So I think uh, nine hours should do it, shouldn't it? Okay, we're all rested. Let's uh, have some eggs for breakfast. We have a, we'll have a small one and we'll have a large one. There we go. And anything else? Uh, a bit of rat meat as well. It's a series partial to a bit of rat meat. Right. Let's head back to Arabar Manor again. Oh, what a lovely sunrise. Let's soak up some rays, Ciceri. Very nice. Now, is it up this way? It's a good thing about this place. You can pretty much see it from anywhere. Oh, that's... Ciceri just absorbing... Absorbing some vitamin D. Not that he has a clue what vitamin D is, but... He can feel what it is. we go back to Arabar Manor and we got in and we got out without any disturbance right we spoke to him and he said it was over here that's the Morog Tongue that should be Arabar Manor let's have a look look at user Siri getting all oriented around uh, this strange place okay Right. Now, if someone has a pillow book, it would make sense. It's something they're probably going to read oh, in their bedroom. Let's hear it. So let's try the bedrooms, shall we? Seems like a reasonable place to start. Locked. Locked. Okay. We did exactly what we did before. When we should have gone across the hall. Here we go. Is it down here? Now this is where that other woman was hanging around, wasn't it? So the bedrooms were this way. Okay, you're very starey. It's quite unnerving, you know. Now, what was the woman's name? Gar Garabar, was it? Or Gandosa Arabar? Making words up now. Gandosa Arabar. Boethia's pillow book. Or Boethia's pillow book. Suggestions on the correct phonetics and pronunciation in the comments welcomed. I think I've always gone with Boethia. Yet, when you talk about Bear and Zaya, I think Bear and Zaya is the correct pronunciation. So it's the Thaya, which would make me think it's Boethia. But look. That's a whole other discussion, isn't it? Now, let's just... Uh, we had a chat with her before and got on quite well, didn't we? Gandosa, good to see you again. Don't mind me, still looking for my friend Revere. What He's wandered it, off. Outlander? Now, this is her room, so I need... It's going to be in one of these chests, isn't it? That would be too, that would be too easy. Okay. What's the bedding? It's in the trapped one, which means we have to un 
or disarm the trap without being seen and then unlock it without being seen and then take the book without being seen. Lots of tests. Ready to Siri? Time to get a probe. And it's 75, so I think we're going to have to go we're going to have to use our master. Let's get a sneak mode on. Mm, this bothers me. Can you turn around, please, Gandosa. Turn around. Turn around. That screen in the way. Okay, sneaks on. Look away. All right. Step one done. Whew, step two. Master pick. And we are going to need a thief ring. Which thankfully is nearly fully charged. Ready to Siri? Stay in sneak mode, stay in sneak mode. Again. Oh wow, well, well done, well done, well done, well done. Ha ha ha, we have you. Yeah, Skooma. She's that's the, she's a very naughty girl. Skooma and and an illegal book. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. Right. Look, let's just take it because if necessary, we'll stick on the invisibility and just run. Well, well, well. Thanks, Kendo, sir. Nope, I've had a look around. He's not in here. Thank you. This place is very lucky for us. We're quite comfortable here. Now, let's see if I can get my way out without walking all over the place. Straight across, wasn't it? Look at that. It's a Siri feeling very, very successful. Thinking back to his early days here on Morrowind when everything was a bit of a disaster. From fighting with a lockpick to getting battered by everything and everyone. And struggling to open the basic a basic lock on a chest. Look how far we've come. Let's get back to Engoth now. And maybe maybe he'll even uh as we're moving up the ranks, the payments are getting better, so we might even get another grand out of this. We're going to have to invest in some magical equipment, I think. Yes, yes. Let's go and check in the Mages Guild. Maybe not here in Eldrune. That just doesn't feel right after Zasiri broke in. Let's just stay away from, from there. I mean, Edwina gave us a quest, didn't she? Um... What was it? It's the unsanctioned training one. Oh, it was picking up a potion. Okay, so we can. There's going to be a fair bit of time before we go back there again. So hopefully, that'll be the robbery will be long in the memory. Engoth, where are you? If there is anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. I'm glad to hear it, but it seems that I am the one at your service. I have Bathia's pillow book for you. Hmm, interesting books these Dunmer have. Why didn't I read it? The series actually kicking himself now for not reading it first. We're getting paid well for this job. I looked over the emergency supplies here and found a ring and, uh, and amulet you might like. Just don't tell anyone I gave them to you, eh? Okay, amulet of far silence. Hmm. And chameleon ring. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What training do you do out of interest, Engoth? Oh, he's a hundred disposition. No, I'm afraid not, Zasiri. My premium services are one of the sweet privileges of rank for the Thieves Guild members. What? I am a thief. What the hell? My services are one of the sweet privileges of rank. Okay. Let's try that again. No, okay. He obviously only deals with certain people. Maybe one day when you're my boss and you'll train me in what I need. Any advancement, Engoth? More jobs? More jobs? You're a hard taskmaster. There's another book I want you to fetch for me. It's called Withershins. Okay. 
tell me more. Another client wants us to find a copy of this book for him. It's not for sale, if you know what I mean. I've heard that Miles Glorio Gloriosus over at the Anders Trade House in Margan has a copy. Okay. Margan. I think. That rings a bell. Have we been to Mar Margan? I think Margan's up around this way as well, isn't it? I think it's north. Let's ask him. So, Withershins. No, he's got new... Uh, what, what, tell me about Big Helendi in, uh, in Sabbath Morrow. What's she like? Okay, no information on that. Do, do, do. Thieves Guild. Yes, Operative. What do you need to know? You won't train me yet. Come on, Atong. Have you dealt with the smuggling operation yet? Oh, God. Give me a chance. Where is that again? I've... Uh, I can't remember. Come on, a tongue. Come on, a tongue. Strike at the come on, a tongue. Oh, yeah, this was in Laoad, wasn't it? Smuggling operation from a cave under Fat Legs drop off. We remember that, Fat Legs, and we remember the trap door. So it must be down there. Anything else I need from you? Uh, we've done that. We've done that. Both eyes, both eyes, pillow book. Um. Nope, so it looks like we're heading north. After we go west and south. Right, what time? 10 a.m. The day... We're in the day... We still are still in the morning, which is good. Right, so Siri. Where the hell... Which We're going to go west to the coast. So, let's go. And we'll see... How we get on. Yeah, is a Siri a little bit nervous about this, heading out of the, the towns after his previous experiences. And this terrain looks sadly and unfortunately vaguely familiar. So not too keen on this. But west it is. Can we go west? There's a road over there that's south. We want to go that way. That's the way we want to go. Going the wrong way in this neighborhood to Syria is not a good idea. Okay. Margan. Ah, a sign to Margan, but we want Narmok. Which they said to hit the coast, and then they said go south. We should go and take care of these Kamonatong people in Narmok for, for Anasi. It's a series that worried about how long he leaves that. Now that he, he's, he's got a bit more insight into who... When Anasi first told him, didn't really know a lot about the Kamonatong, who they were, anything about them. Now now he's, he's a bit more concerned for her. So let's not let this... Uh... Which way do we go, Zasiri? Let's stay on the road. Let's stay on the road. And let's also slow down because you don't have an ounce of fatigue. Yep. We do not like this land. Anything that make it worse now, be a bloody Kwama forager. Right. Nisis, Morgan, Caldera. Let's head this way. It's vaguely west. Let's have a think about... Um, I just need to get our fatigue back up a little bit. It's so quiet around here and all the noise is creeping Zasiri out. Grateful for the blue sky though and the brightness. That's something at least. We thankful for small blessings. Okay, we have a. What have we got here? Margans that way. Calder and Nisis, Aldrun. Uh, at least this way seems to be a little less bleak. And it's still heading west. 
Let's avoid the rat. Now, we're at a point here where both Ciri and I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, I'll just take it out to Siri. Can't be bothered with all the, the tippy towing around it. And we're hoping that we come across the coast or Narmok at some point. This is a bit better though. It's not as grim. Nisus. Almora. Margan. Ah, uh, Nord. There are no signs for this Narmok anywhere. Balmora, Caldera, Nisus, Aldrun. I'm actually thinking it's actually quite good. I don't know where it is. I can't remember exactly. It's like playing the game for the first time. Hmm, who have we got down here? Have we met this guy before? This Argonian. Rasha. This warm blood has questions. Greetings, traveller. Rasha wishes you well and thinks you maybe that thinks you maybe can help him with some pressing business. Pressing business. Yes, most pressing I have, you see. A shipment of clothing, fine clothing it is, uh, to get to Aldrun. But I fear other business draws me away. Perhaps, I think, you and I might come to an arrangement, yes? If you will deliver Rash's shirts, these fine, fine shirts, to prevail Tenerin, the clothier in Aldrun, she will pay you for your services. And a generous woman she is. I would ask that you swear an oath to Zenithar to seal our arrangement, though. Yes, what do you think of my offer, hmm? To be honest, Rasha... On another day, I'd love to help you out, but I really can't do that right now. I, I have very pressing manners to deal with. No, very sad for both of us. We stood, we both stood to gain much. Perhaps you're already cursed by Zenithar, yes? Well, not as far as I'm aware. Perhaps he will not accept at your oath. I must go. I don't want your curse to be rubbing off on me. No, not on me. Well, I don't think I'm cursed at all. You're a bit odd, Rasha. A little bit rude as well, to be honest. Anyway, I thought you would have got. I thought that would, would have had a bit more manners on an uh, on an Argonian in Morrowind. Ah, look at this! Look at this, Narmok. We have a sign. Wonderful. And Halawad is this way as well. So, do we end up? Go carrying on to Lawad and doing all our come on a tongue in one go. Tell you what, let's see how we get on. Yeah, let's see how we get on with um with the first one before we overthink it, Siri. Namok, Lawad, this way. Okay. The Siri Gret just grateful to, to at least be in some countryside. It's still a bit bare, but at least there's some greenery and it's uh, it's not as uh, black and bleak. Kwama Forager. Nope. That's, uh, I need to um, fix my my um, hotkeys because I've changed my weapons, haven't I? So where is my Silver flame blade. There it is. Thank you. Now, let's get up close with this because we do not like these things. Out of the way. I've got no fatigue again. Why do I keep trying to fight when I have no fatigue? Come on, die. Foragers. Okay. Thankfully, there was no one looking because that was embarrassing. Quite frankly. Right, let's just walk for a bit, Ciri, shall we? And not have that again. Ah, some lush greenery. Feeling better already. 
Where is this place? Now, Mokla, Wad, and Sedanin. We're heading south. Oh, it's a, they, those are a long way off, actually. Yeah, I don't think we'll be going all the way back down to Lawad. Yeah, I, I get the feeling Narmok is, is going to be around here somewhere. I wasn't too, too far off. Now, be aware, easy, Siri. We don't know what these two are down here, but it looks... Oh, it does look a bit suspect. Whoa, he's fast. No. No, 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 no. Stay, stay away, you. With your spear. Ah, I got my buttons all tangled up. Just, you don't have to fight me. Stop. Die. I mean, the series is going off Argonians today. What have we got here? Not worth an awful lot and heavy. I'll take my bolts back though. Thank you very much. And a few coins for my trouble. Uh, no, that can all wait. Let's go and take care of your friend now. Great, now it's raining. Just as it was getting nice and green and tranquil and lovely. Where did the other one go? Is he going to attack me as well? He is. Oh, cheeky sod. Ow, ow, ow! These that these 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 are hurting. Uh, yeah, we'll take a restore health. This is a, a shoot a shooting match. And he's winning. No, 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 no. I had just, I, I didn't realize I was that close to death. Uh. Now I need to kill them both again. Right, Ciceri. I did do that. Okay, I don't have to do that again at least. So these... At least with this one chasing after me, I don't have to deal with the the archer at the same time. Which is something, I suppose. Come on, take him out. One more. Ah, ow, ow. No. Don't like you. Don't like you at all. Now let's use our, uh, what's this amulet of fast silence? Silence, 15 seconds on target. I suppose it could be useful if we come across any mages. And the chameleon ring, 10% for 30 seconds. And we also have ring of surroundings, which is 15 to 30 for 30 seconds. Okay, that could be useful. Do you know what, actually? That could be quite useful right now. Let's uh, heal ourselves up first, though. And walk to Siri, get your fatigue back. Okay, good. Let's um, let's try these out. Chameleon ring, and we got ring of surroundings as well. Did I have something else that was? I've also got the spell. Oh no, let's just throw a load of chameleon on, and maybe it'll make it more difficult for this guy to hit us. And our belt of the armor of the god, which we keep forgetting to use as well. Fatigue first, Asiri. Wait, 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 wait. Get your breath back. At least it's not raining in this alternative universe. Right. He's not firing yet. And we're going to go through all of these and get ourselves prepped and see if we can dispatch of this guy 
this time. Right. Belt of the Armor of the God. Sanctuary and Shield. First. Chameleon Ring. And Ring of Surroundings. Anything else? I might as well do Thief Ring as well. And let's throw on this Chameleon on top as well. Let's just do a quick, I just want to check if the how these are stacking up. Okay, I've got Shield, 10 points. Chameleon, we've got 10, 10, 27, that's 47% Chameleon. That's pretty good. Oh, good shots, Asiri. This is better. I feel like we're winning this fight this time. Whereas before, ah, oh, <laughs> that was nice and clean. That felt good. That felt really good. Arrows? No, we don't have to. We don't know how to use those. That's a bit too heavy. We'll take our bolts back. Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want any of this. A uh, hundred gold. Yep, I'll take that. Looks like did these. Did they ambush this uh, this wagon, or did they find it? Okay, that looks like it's worth a bit of money. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. well, that's fresh bread. We'll take that, and we'll we'll take the hound meat as well. This will save us buying food and. Some ash yam. Why not? What's in this one? No, not that in there. Nah, that's all soaked, soaked wet by the swamp now at this stage. A dead gua. Is there any gua meat? No. Right, Cecilia, where are we? Where's the road gone? Which direction are we heading in? I think they said south down the coast, didn't they, when they were given the directions? All right, let's practice our marksman. And good, we got all our bolts back. And a bit of rat meat for a snack later. Slow down, Ciceri. We have some signposts up ahead. It's very quiet. Looks like buildings over there. Hopefully, 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 we have found Narmok. We then have a big job to do. Because this guy that An Anasi was talking about sounds pretty mean. Narmok! Well done! Ciceri feeling very proud of himself for finding this place. Now, how do we get into it? Ah, there are some boards. Lovely clean water. Right. Now, Zasiri, who are we looking for? Who are we looking for? Anasi, a special friend. I've offered to take care of the bad person who has threatened Anasi. The bad person is Dar Darren Adrin, a dark elf and a Kamonatong bigwig. Anasi says he has found at Nadine Rotheran's shack in Narmok. So we're looking for Nadine Rotheran's shack. This place looks, looks a bit rough around the edges. But they have boats. Let's go and check out where the boats go to. Because uh, when we're heading north, that might save us a bit of time rather than traipsing across this this land. Good day. What is this about? Oh, well, just inquiring about the travel options. Oh, here we go. Tomorrow, Talaroon. Okay, these are all far away, which we don't want. No. Uh, we could get a boat to Halal Ad and then back again, but it just seems a bit... Maybe on the way back, when we're heading back down south, we can come this way and then get a boat to Halal Ad, and then we can walk to Balmora from Halal Ad. 
Malagma. None of these are ringing a bell of anywhere we need to get to. Aldvalothi is where we want, and that's not on there. Okay. Good to know. Thank you very much. Try a bit of persuasion. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't go well. A bit better. Come on. No. Siri, you might be better off. All right. We'll leave it at that. Thank you. Oh, while we're here, uh, someone in particular, Wadaku the Khajiit hangs around the dreg, the dreg jigger's rest. He's very serious business. Amzi Arenim, she's Halalu of Arenim Manor. The Arenims are the local Halalu lords. Nadine Rotheran's place is where the Kamonatong people hang out. <laughs> not very sec not very secretive about it. You stay away from there, Outlander. The series thinking that's the reason I'm here. Now where is Radine or Nadine Rotheran's shack? Ross Loggy Shack. Right, there's something tell me it's either this one or this one. Oh, you're Nadine Rotheran. Yes, Outlander. I'm Nadine Rotheran. Never seen you here before. First time in Narmok, then? Let me give you a little advice. We aren't used to visitors here, and we don't like what we aren't used to, so don't be surprised if people don't like answering a lot of questions. But you seem an okay sort, so if you're looking for someone in particular, or looking for some services, or looking for a specific place, go ahead and ask. No, I'm just uh, nice to make your acquaintance. It's a serious thing. Also good to know that you're not at home. So you don't get caught up in this. Uh-huh. Yep. Right. Are we prepared? Are we prepared? Definitely want to use that belt again. And maybe, did we try that trick again where we, we, we buff ourselves up? It seemed to work with the Argonian. We don't know what we're walking into here, Zasiri. So let's scout the place out first. There's no reason you should be attacked as soon as you walk in. If there is, we know what to do. Run. Find someone else to bother. Hi, I was looking for a friend, a Revere. Have you seen him? Go away, Outlander. <laughs> Fitting. Hello. Well, stranger, what are you doing in now, Mock? Not that it matters. Ask your questions. I'll get no peace till you do. Uh, what do you sell? Apprentices and journeymen. No, I'm only looking for masters these days. And you. Uh, barter. Books. And do you have anything for sale? Torch, shield, and arrows. No. Okay. At least we have a... Uh, we have... The lay of the place now is a Siri, and he is there just as we go through the door. Now, is there a way of taking him out quickly? We can try our backstab that we tried before. And remember, he's come on a tongue, but we've been told that they are come on a tongue. So chances are, every one of them in there is come on a tongue. On that basis, I think we are going for I think we're going for area of effect weapons. I also have a bad feeling about this. What is this regarding Khajiit? Oh, nothing. Just resting my oh, rest, my resting my weary resting. legs. Oh. Sitting on this little chair here. Yes, go away. Right, Ciceri. Time to prep. Let's get our belt going. A thief ring. I wonder if we should use one of these scroll scrolls as well. We'll be prepared to use them when we're in there. Uh, ring of surroundings. Chameleon ring. And 
be prepared to use this if there is a mage in there. All right, so Siri, go. You must be joking. Bother someone else. It's fine. Get her. All right, come on. Keep going, Zasiri. Ah, I missed. You can't afford to be missing. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Potion time. Zasiri getting a bit... Maybe a bit overconfident these days. Um, I definitely want a potion. Is there anything else we need to do... No mages in there. No one's cast any spells. That's good to know. Let's have our ring of Khajiit ready, though. Go. You will suffer Come on. Another potion. This is a... Uh, do I have a quality potion? I do. Let's take a quality one. He's dead. Let's take these out as well. We don't want Kamonatong to live. Good shot. These bolts. We need to plus thank Aradrayan for these. I'm shooting very slowly though. Alright, another potion. Let's be absolutely sure about this, Asiri. We'll just take a standard. No, 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 no. She's a, 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 she's a hand to hand. Um, okay, fatigue potions. <laughs> we don't like those. We don't like those at all. Let's get a bit of space between us. No, not if I can help it. No, Fatigue potion, Cecilia. Fatigue potion. Good block. That was better. This is much better. Take her out. Let's take her out. Stop moving. Watch the fatigue. Watch the fatigue. Come on, you you go down. Good. And last but not least, you. It's oh, a series. Just feels very, 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 very pumped right now. Very, very pumped. Four Kamonatong members done. And most importantly, the one who was harassing Anasi and a demon Tanto. Which is worth a fair bit. And, yeah, I'll be taking those. Thank you very much. Off you. I don't think you'll be needing them anymore. Nothing else of interest there. Yeah. No, no, no. Steel swagger... St st swagger? Steel swagger? Steel dagger of swift blade. Fortify short blade. <laughs> That's something the Siri needs. What's the damage on it, though? It's only four to six. So, yeah. I'll take it because I can sell it. Don't need the torches. Right. The job is done. Is that bread? Yep, I'll take the bread. We're a bit low on bread. Uh, no, we've got enough food. So, Siri now looking forward to... Uh, Looking forward to telling Anasi the good news. So Siri is a little bit of a soft spot for Anasi. And he's glad now. Before he was, was too weak to help. Right. Wow. Where to now, Zasiri? Well, f firstly, what time is it? It's 6pm. We are miles from anywhere. I'm wondering if we just spend the night here. Hmm. Do we spend the night here? I think that would be wise. What was that? Is there anywhere to spend the night? <sighs> the 
The drag jiggers rest. Good evening, all. May each day greet you warmly, friend. Well, thank you. What a lovely greeting. I'm Balen. I, I'm Zasiri. Never seen you here before. First time in Narmok. Then let me give you a little advice. We aren't used to visitors. Yes, I've heard this advice already. Uh, doesn't really fit with your friendly greeting, but anyway. Let's, who's the proprietor here? Uh, no, you don't do beds. Same, all the same information. You've won me over. Fellow Khajiit. And you as well, Wadaku. No, you guys don't have beds. I thought you but there is a I bed I can going sleep to fit in. Right in here, friend. Nope. You've won me over. I think I can rest here. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Cause I do have a mod in that puts beds in places that should have beds, but um like some of the inns don't have beds and the mod puts them in. But I think this one, if I remember rightly, might be a little bit uh it doesn't update their dialogue. Right in here, friend. Well, thank you. you. Won me over. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, look at that disposition of eighty. Brilliant. So we're going to presume that uh, as a series had a chat, explained that he's travelling. They they're fairly friendly. That's a very very high disposition of eighty. What's this guy's eighty? I think You're these might be thieves guild. Yes, look, I've met. <laughs> I thieves like guild. That. Any jobs or leads for me, operative? Yep, these are thieves guild. So I can stay here. I better not try stealing from a chest though, because that's going to get me kicked out. So Zasiri is gonna going spend to spend the night here. Right in here friend. I think you I am as well. Over. So I think let's have a look. That's a strike at the Kamana Tong. That's the one uh, in Lawad. So that's heading the other direction. That's for later. We have. Uh, let's have a quick look at these. That's. Side with Mora. That one I can turn into Rannis when I go back to Balmora. These are later on. Anassi's special friend. I just need to go back to her and tell her that's done. Thieves Guild with the Shins. This is Margan. So we do need to get to Margan. And we also have a book to deliver to someone in Aldvalothi, which was, as this won't be in the quests, I need to find this. If I remember rightly, it was Jabasha, wasn't it? Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No. I'll find that offline. But I'm fairly certain it's uh, the book I have to deliver for Jabasha it is, is in Al Valothi, which is north. So we're going to rest here for the night. And then we will head north to Al Valothi and have a look through our journal. The series, he's pumped after that, but he's also tired. The adrenaline is starting to wear off, so he's going to rest for the evening. And in the morning, we'll have an early start, and we will definitely head north and see where else our journey, ta journey takes us. <coughs> so on that note, we will end there. Thank you all for watching. Much appreciated, as always. I hope you're all well, and until next time, take care.